sale. Hello, this is Caveman with 123 Dash Caveman on eBay, and um, today I'm taking and talking to you about the universal uh, four lane setup that I take and sell. Had a couple questions, and I uh, just want to take and clear things up so people completely understand the easiest way and really the only way you can use this. But it does work with all brands' tracks. Um, you've got Arten, all right, and you've got Carrera. Uh, you got a circle track which you can actually use these you do not have to take and connect it to a straight track a lot of people will and then of course you also have for instance an HO series track okay which is made by Life Flight. now what you'll notice about every one of these tracks this is the SCX track is that it has these silver pieces that are shown basically that's the same thing as the rails that's on the other side and this is where you would connect the universal setup um, and even though this Life Flight is a little bit different but you can use it for Tyco, the rest of them, you'll notice that these little silver spots, that's exactly, again, where you would solder the wires. Um, same thing with the Carrera, and also same thing with an Arten track if you wanted to use it on 143rd scale and just boost up the, the power. Um, Arten that I'm aware of doesn't actually make a four-lane hookup for the Arten 143rds, but you can use this here. The transformer is 12 volts. It's actually rated, it kind of gives you, most times, most of the ones I've checked, is about 13.2 which is quite a bit um, if it's an Arten car it will blow your headlights as far as standard headlights I sell LEDs or you can take and just change the bulbs that's in your small cars uh, to wear something that would take and you know handle up to maybe 15 16 volts um, then you have the connection where all your controllers hook up and your power from the transformer hooks up and um, you know this one here is the long lead version because some people just want it to come that way and I'll actually mark the lanes on it for you if you want um, and so you can take and really extend this away from this here um, I have found that people take and drill a small hole here and a small hole here and then you can take and actually mount it to where this doesn't move at all uh, that helps things from people from jerking it around or damaging anything and also you know if they jerk on it does your track move so um, one thing you can take and do is extend the wires that are on this. These here are put together with screws. They're easy enough to take and open up and solder in a wire. If you want to use a clean wire, you can make these 10 foot long. Just make sure that the wire itself is heavy enough. Uh, a real thin wire will take and uh, hamper the amount of amperage that comes from the track or for, through the controller to the track. So just something to keep in mind. Now, bottom line is, is that if you take these tracks and you're getting ready to connect it all up all you need to take and really do is is in the silver areas like I had mentioned is just take and apply a little bit of solder here okay to where you know you've got a little bit of a puddle and it doesn't take a whole lot to do this and then you take each of your wires set them up in there you might tin the wires let it cool off a little bit tinning the wires basically is putting solder on the wire and heating that up real good as you can see it soaks into the wire but then when you take and go to put it here you don't have to heat the whole apparatus up that much to take and get the solder to stick so that there was just connecting up this lane if this is lane one um, and you had your setup the wires on the one that's standard are a little bit shorter so they're only go about that far away from the the hookup all right longer wires let you take and put it pretty much wherever you want but basically, you can do that with all these tracks, like I say, the Carrera, the HO, um, and the SX. But you can take and use this on Eldon tracks. You can take and use it on um, uh, Gilbert tracks. You can take and use it on any track, if, even if it's a no-name track and you have no clue who made it. If it's got the rails and you flip it over and it's got the places here to take and hook up the wire, you're good to go. If you have any questions about it, um, feel free to take and ask. Like I say, I'm not eBay at 123-caveman, send me a message there. The, uh, the email that I have been using, even though I do take and check it from time to time, the email, the email, email, email with eBay I see all the time. So um, I can get back to you a little quicker. So, you know, sorry about that. I haven't replied on some of the ones as far as posting things. Um, you know on the YouTube videos I'm not very good at getting back to all those videos and opening each one of them up to see the comments so I do apologize for that but anyway I thank you for your time again this is the four lane 
all right, universal setup that can hook up to any track. And not that you would use this on a large uh, 124 scale, 130 second scale uh, Carrera track, but you can also use it there. Um, so, you know, it's it's any track that's out there because here's a 124 scale track, all right, 124th slash 143rd or 132nd that Carrera sells. And again, you see the silver marks, you would take and do exactly the same thing as you did with this one here. And once again, it will work with all brands of tracks. Just keep in mind the transformer is rated at 12 volts. It puts out about 13.7. And, um, you know, just depending on the person, the cars that they're running, the track that they're hooking it up to. If you're hooking this up to a HO scale track, it's perfect because most of them are 12 volts. So it's going to take and work well. And uh, it should take and do you a great job. Once again, if there's any questions, please ask. And I thank you for your time. Till next time. Bye now.